Greetings and salutations to all our savvy science enthusiasts out there. We're about to embark on a journey that will take us to the stars and beyond as we explore the captivating realm of rocket science. Now, don't let the term rocket science intimidate you. It's not as elusive or perplexing as it may sound. In fact, it's simply the study of how rockets work. It's a fascinating blend of multiple disciplines like physics, aerodynamics, and mathematics. It's all about understanding how to propel a vehicle, a rocket, into space. It's about overcoming Earth's gravity, facing the challenges of the atmosphere, and reaching out to the cosmos. It's about dreaming big and reaching for the stars. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for liftoff as we delve into the captivating, awe-inspiring, and yes, rocket-fueled world of rocket science. Stay tuned as we dive into the fascinating world of rocket science. Rocket science, at its core, is all about using forces to move objects. Now, let's dive a little deeper into the basics of rocket science. We can't talk about rockets without mentioning Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, the same Newton who sat under an apple tree and pondered why the apple fell straight down and not sideways. His third law of motion is the fundamental principle that rockets work on. So what does Newton's third law say? It states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. To put it simply, if you push something, it pushes back with the same force. But how does this apply to rockets, you may ask? Imagine a balloon full of air. If you let go of the balloon without tying it, the air rushes out and the balloon zooms off in the opposite direction. This is the simplest example of Newton's third law in action. The air rushing out of the balloon is the action, and the balloon moving in the opposite direction is the reaction. Now replace the balloon with a rocket and the air with rocket fuel. When the fuel is ignited, it expands rapidly and is forced out of the rocket at high speed. This is our action. The reaction is the rocket moving in the opposite direction, upwards, and if everything goes according to plan, into space. It's important to note that the direction of the rocket's motion depends on the direction of the exhaust gases. If the gases are ejected downwards, the rocket will move upwards and vice versa. This is why rockets are launched with their engines facing the ground. But it's not just about the fuel. The shape and design of the rocket also play a key role in determining how efficiently it can overcome Earth's gravity and atmospheric resistance. The more streamlined and aerodynamic a rocket is, the better it can cut through the atmosphere and reach space. So, remember, every time a rocket launches, it's simply Newton's third law in action. Now that we understand the basic principles, let's delve into what fuels these powerful machines. Rocket fuels or propellants are the heart and soul of rocket science. They provide the energy needed to propel rockets into space, and without them, our dreams of exploring the cosmos would be just that. Dreams. There are two primary types of rocket fuels, solid and liquid. Solid rocket fuels are like the gunpowder in fireworks. They're made of a mixture of fuel and oxidizer that's packed into a solid form. Once ignited, the reaction is immediate and unstoppable, generating a great deal of thrust. The simplicity of solid fuels is their primary advantage. They're stable, easy to handle, and can be stored for long periods. However, their major drawback is that once they're lit, they burn until they're spent. There's no turning them off or adjusting their thrust. On the other hand, we have liquid rocket fuels. These are kept separate until the moment of ignition, with the fuel in one tank and the oxidizer in another. When combined, they ignite to produce thrust. The key advantage of liquid fuels is their controllability. You can turn a liquid fuel rocket engine on and off, and you can adjust its thrust. This gives a spacecraft the ability to make precise maneuvers in space. However, liquid fuels are more complex and dangerous to handle than solid fuels. They can be highly volatile and require careful storage and handling. There's also a third type of fuel called hybrid propellant, which combines aspects of both solid and liquid fuels. But that's a topic for another day. In the end, the choice between solid and liquid fuels often comes down to the mission's specific needs. Some missions might need the raw power of solid fuel, while others might require the precision of liquid fuel. Whether it's solid or liquid, the right fuel can make all the difference in a successful launch. With the knowledge of basic principles and fuels, we're now ready for a rocket launch. Imagine the scene, a rocket poised on the launch pad, its engines roaring with anticipation. This is the ignition stage, when the rocket's engines are fired up, but it's not yet moving. 
the engines are tested for reliability and performance. If all goes well, we move on to the next stage, the liftoff. Liftoff is the moment we've all been waiting for, the rocket's engines thrusting it off the ground and into the sky. The force of gravity is the primary obstacle here. The rocket, fully fueled and carrying its payload, is at its heaviest. It needs enough thrust to overcome Earth's gravity and start its journey to space. Now, the rocket is in flight, but it's not a smooth ride to space. The journey is broken down into stages, each with a specific purpose. The first stage, often called the booster stage, is all about power. This stage uses the majority of the rocket's fuel to push through Earth's atmosphere, reaching supersonic speeds. Once the first stage has done its job, it's jettisoned, reducing the weight of the rocket. The second stage kicks in, propelling the rocket even higher and faster. This stage is crucial for getting the rocket to its desired orbit. Sometimes there's even a third stage. This stage is used for fine-tuning the rocket's trajectory and speed, ensuring it's perfectly placed in orbit. Throughout all these stages, the rocket's direction is carefully controlled. Small engines, called thrusters, are used to adjust the rocket's position and direction. These tiny adjustments, known as attitude control, are vital for a successful mission. And with that, we've successfully launched and navigated through the stages of a rocket launch. Rocket science has come a long way, but where is it headed in the future? Let's imagine a future where rocket science has evolved beyond our wildest dreams. A future where rockets are not just tools for exploration, but vehicles that open up the cosmos for all of us. This is not mere speculation, but a vision that scientists and engineers are actively working towards. Firstly, let's consider reusable rockets. These are rockets that can be launched, landed back on Earth, and then launched again. This concept isn't new. SpaceX, a private company, has already made significant strides in this area, but we're only scratching the surface. The future may see rockets that can be reused hundreds, even thousands of times, significantly cutting down the cost of space travel. Next, let's think about deep space exploration. Currently, our understanding of space is limited to our solar system. But what if rockets could take us beyond that? Imagine a rocket that could travel to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, or even further. With advancements in propulsion technology, such as the concept of nuclear propulsion, this could become a reality within the next few decades. Lastly, the possibility of manned missions to Mars. Mars has long been the subject of fascination and the target of numerous unmanned missions. But what if we could send humans there? The challenges are immense, from the long journey time to the harsh Martian environment. Yet, rocket scientists are undeterred. They're already developing the technology and strategies that could one day make Mars missions a reality. From reusable rockets to deep space exploration to manned missions to Mars, the future of rocket science is brimming with possibilities. It's an exciting time to be involved in this field and we can't wait to see what the future holds. Remember, these are not just lofty dreams or science fiction scenarios. They're real, tangible goals that our brightest minds are striving towards. And with every passing day, we're getting closer to turning these dreams into reality. The sky's the limit when it comes to the future of rocket science. We've had an amazing journey through the world of rocket science today. From the basics of the science, to the complexities of rocket fuels, the thrilling process of a rocket launch, and even a glimpse into the future of this fascinating field. It's clear that rocket science is an intricate dance of physics, chemistry, and engineering, but it's not beyond reach. Anyone with a spark of curiosity and a willingness to learn can dive in. The future of this field is teeming with possibilities, from eco-friendly fuels to more efficient launch methods. We are on the cusp of a new era in space exploration, and you can be a part of it. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting science content. Until next time, keep exploring.